Today I'm going to show you some ways to do our new crafting change heart hugs. And I want to thank Deb Evans for giving us this idea of pinking the edges because it makes these go so much quicker and um, we're able to do many more for all the requests that we currently have. I'm going to show you today how I've been doing uh, these particular hearts with the blanket stitch. I've been doing them with a wool felt and a fleece. So we're going to show you how to do those today. But some other ideas that we have from Mary Dredge are to do um, iron-on hearts onto our fabric. And you could also add your heart charm to this as well. And then we had another one that Martha showed us that uh, has pinked hearts out of felt attached to them. We also have just the ones that you can do with the quilt squares and a heart charm. And there's also this one that you can do with the crocheted hearts on a square. These little hearts are wool felt and with cheapy felt little teeny hearts on top of them. I started out with a pile of scrap wool felt that I got from my friend Deb and um, cut out all the hearts and what I did is I cut out the hearts from the fun colors and then I primarily used uh, the black and I had some other pieces that I used for the back of the hearts. I cut out the felt hearts using scissors. I just fold over. You probably learned this in grade school and slowly cut around. I look at the cart if I don't like the the way the two pieces come together down the bottom I'll just do a little trim sometimes I'll even take a small pair of scissors and clip a little bit here clip that little doodah off the edge and there I have my base heart then what I will do is I will go to the fabrics that the colors I'm not that fond of and I will just lay the heart on there and cut around it a lot of times I'll use my smaller scissors in this crotch to um, because sometimes it's easier to control. Then you have your two sides. And you're ready to go for the little teeny heart that goes in the center. Next, I get out my inexpensive felts. You know, those sheets that you get at Joann's and other craft stores. I cut a little, usually cut a little strip. And then... I cut teeny hearts out of this. This sometimes is more of a challenge because they're so small, especially for these little quilt, the ones where we have to make our hearts a little bit smaller for the quilt squares. I'll just trim up a little edge. And then this will go on top of, well, that one's a little big, but I think okay. This one will go on top of the um, heart I just created. Next, I'll pull out my embroidery floss. I just used two pieces of thread for that, for this little heart. I knot it and then clip off that little end. I separate, I separate my layers and I start by putting the heart on. Sometimes I put the heart on this way. Sometimes I tilt it. I like it tilted a lot. Sometimes it's on the right side. Sometimes it's on the left side. It varies. It just depending on what I feel like doing. I come up from the back. We're basically going to do individual stitches all the way around the heart. So 
So I'm just going up through the back. Kind of blind poking, coming through. And I'm gonna go all, go all the way around the heart. When I get to the end, I flip over, run my thread through there, run my thread back through here, pull a knot, and I just usually push it back through the fabric and trim it. Now we're ready to put it on its background. If you don't know how to separate embroidery floss, I just want one thread. So I will find one thread and then you just pull it out. And then you just stretch this guy back out and then you pull your next thread. So I'm gonna pull two threads for the putting the two pieces together, but I'm going to double it on the needle. I put my thread through the needle and I doubled it and I'm going to knot the end of it. I found that doing the outer two outer hearts, either four threads or three thread, three threads work well. They show up nicely on your outside. I'm now going to take my heart and I'm holding them apart because I want the knot to be in between. And in this case, I'm lining up down here and pulling it through. Get that other thread out of here. Then I sandwich them together and I go back in and come back through the same place. And this time we are going to do a blanket stitch. So we're going to run the needle through here and pull it taut. Don't pull it too tight. Then I'm gonna go up to my next location, push from the back, and run through there. And then I'm gonna do this all the way around the heart. I like to choose threads that are gonna stand out because I think this gives the visual interest to the hearts. And I'm showing you this on just these wool felt hearts, but it's the same method when we use fleece. And I'll show you a little fleece, some little fleece hearts in a bit. And this is a great way to use up our scraps. It is important, I think, on this particular kind of heart that we use materials that don't fray. So wool felt and um, fleece are great. So once you get to the end, I come back through the through from the back to that same juncture there. I taught I go back through my loop. And instead of going back like this, I come forward and go back through here because it seems to pull the thread nicely so you get this nice ending. Then I go in my back to do a knot, pull it tight, then I run my thread through the back of the heart and then just snip it. And then you have your wool felt heart. These guys are all ready to be sewn. I sort of do production line. I do all my fronts first and then I do my backs and then I kind of mix and match the little hearts. I love doing these fleece hearts. The uh, front and back are both fleece. The heart is the inexpensive felt. These large hearts are used directly on top of the snappy bags and some taco totes. These smaller ones will be used on top of the crafting change heart hugs.
In this segment, we are going to assemble our quilt square. These quilt squares, you could, you could make the four piece quilt square if you wish, but with these more complicated hearts, uh, we're choosing to use planar fabrics just or just one piece of fabric. These go together very quickly. We are going to be uh, pinking the edges. We're gonna use three layers. For your middle layer, you can either use batting or you can use scrap fleece. One of the fun things about the scrap fleece is that the edge will be showing and so you would have color showing through with all the three layers. So in this case, I'm gonna assemble this with the fleece. What we're going to do is we're going to layer our cotton fabric right side out on the front and right side out on the back. And I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew around. Our finished quilt square should be anywhere from two to two and a half inches. I started out with a three inch square because I find that it's easier to handle, but I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine now. I went over to my sewing machine. I sewed about uh, three eighths of an inch out from the edge. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pink the square. We can pink the square with a pair of pinking shears, or you can get a pinking blade, basically a, just a zigzag blade for your cutter. Personally, I'm gonna pink with the shears because for me, that's easier. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pink around the edge. And your square is done, ready to attach your heart. What I suggest is that you sew the heart in a little bit from the edges and tack it onto the back of your square, not going through the back layer of your square. So in this case, I have two choices. I could put my heart on this colored side, this yellow side, or on this side. It kind of blends in a little bit more on this side, so depending on how much contrast you would like, you could go on either side. I'm gonna put it on this side. I'm basically stitching the heart to the square, going in through. I've gone all the way around my heart, and I'm gonna tie off a knot, and then um, it will be done. Okay, our quilting square is done. I tacked it on to the back of this heart to the top of the quilt square. It was a little too hard to show you on video how I did that. I did use a quilting thread as opposed to just regular sewing thread because I just wanted to be able to use one strand of thread to do this. And the quilting is just slightly stronger. We hope you got some great ideas today on making crafting change heart hugs and look forward to seeing your projects on our Facebook page.